Hey guys, Mix here, and I have a requested tutorial here, and this one's going to be in Photoshop. Um, this version is Photoshop CS6, the newest version, but this ver this will work with any of the Photoshops um, from CS5 up. If you have any lower, the first method that you're going to be using for this will work, and um, the only thing you're going to need is that you have your logo, wh whatever you created, like see I created this little logo here you need to have that in your PSD file or have it open because you're going to want to be able to see all these layers over here uh, to do this and make sure you did not make it on your background layer make make sure not all these layers are combined into one that's the reason why they have a background layer so that you can uh, make it be transparent if you want to at the end and that's all you got to really do so you have this black background here and that's because I have a color overlay which makes this background black and what you have to do to get that background out of there is just click this little eye it's gonna be to the left of that layer icon click that eye and there you go you have a transparent background that you can use in videos or anything now to make this work this is really important to make this work when you when you save this image make sure you save it as a PNG it's gonna give you that option to save it as a .png because PNGs read transparent backgrounds and if you save it as a JPEG it will come out wrong and it usually comes out with a white background now when you view this in uh, see Windows Photo Viewer it's gonna have a white background when you use it in a program it's going to be it's gonna have a transparent background now the next method you can use um, is erasing the background manually so say you want to take um, you want to put an Intel logo in something. This isn't your logo, but you can. You want to erase the background so it'll go with some design you have. Uh, this will work for if you have a picture too. Just make sure you still have um, that. Actually, you don't need this background. So you don't. If you have it on one layer, say it's all in one layer, or you just have the the background there. What you can do is you see that you go to your eraser tool. And you kind of you c you click and hold, and you'll see background eraser tool. Now the background eraser tool, I believe, is only in CS5 up. It may be in CS4. I'm not sure, but I do know it's not in CS3. So what you want to do after you have that background background eraser tool opened, you c you click on the layer of your image, and you just click have those crosshairs on the black, and you click on whatever color you want out. As you can see, it does a great job of identifying all the white in the picture and taking it out. Now, it doesn't work fla flawlessly. As you can see, there's kind of a little bit of white in there. But it does a very good job. It's a lot quicker than manually erasing around everything. So now you have that Intel logo. Now, if you want that to be have a transparent background, just click that icon, and you have a transparent background. If you have any questions about this tutorial, leave it, in, leave it below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and thanks for watching guys see ya